All right, little update on the Blink project. Um, so we have here number one, number two, number three. These all are electrically the same, but um, experimenting with different uh, encapsulations. Well, I haven't actually encapsulated that one, but I'm doing different experiments with that one. Okay, so here's number one. Um, it's got on a tissue because it's still covered in Vaseline. Uh, this is a monumental failure. Um, so as you can see, the resin is all exploded. Um, so this one, I kind of uh, rushed it, um, didn't play it by the book when casting the resin, and it shrank too much, and then I broke off. Uh, so when it shrinks, it tends to crack along big flat things, like the PCB. Um, so that sort of broke up and spalled off a bunch of little bits and little craters, and then I tried to pour another layer over the top of that once it was hard, and then I snapped off a bunch of bits and poured another layer, and it was just... Big, big mess. Um, so I've given up on that one. This is just going to be um, a testament to my failure. Um, when I was prying off some of the uh, resin, it took off D1 there. So there's no uh, reverse current protection on the solar panel on this one. Still should work. Um, it'll just leak power across the solar panel. Um, here's number two. It was uh, had similar problems to this one. Um, even though I did everything purely by the book. Uh, so these ones were done with polyester resin, uh, just from Bunnings, Protite, Clear, Cast, something or other. Um, so yeah, this one had similar problems. Uh, I did actually embed a bee in there, because there was just a bee sitting on the bench, and so I just went, boop, put it in the resin. Um, but that didn't cause any problems, but it was only slightly more successful than this one. So it is um, fully encapsulated, I think, um, but you can see ooh, you can see that there's cracks down inside there that have spread out to the edge. I did another pour over the top to try to fill in all the, the cracks that formed during the, the second uh, or third pass on casting. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a big disaster. Um, but as you can see, it works. Um, I don't know if it's fully sealed. Um, there might be some cracks in there. I'm going to go around and... Um, run this through the linisher and round off all the sides once I've got my dust extraction set up again. Um, but you know, that one's been sitting out in a pot plant in the garden for a couple of days now and just, just works, does what it says in the tin. Um, so this one here is number three. Uh, it hasn't been powered up yet. Um, so this is uh, almost identical in construction to this one. So it's got some stout copper wires. Let me just pick this up around the camera very carefully. It's got some stout copper wires that stand off from the PCB um, that lock the whole thing in position. Um, there's still a bit of flex in everything. Um, this is to allow it to sort of shift and move as the uh, resin is setting. Um, this one will be cast in some epoxy resin that I've bought from a local mob AA Composites. Um, and it is, yeah, so epoxy resin is a different chemical composition, um, which should be a bit friendlier for what I'm trying to use it for. This stuff is just like cheap garbage from Bunnings to lure in suckers, basically. Um, so uh, one thing I'm experimenting with this one is washing it in isopropanol uh, before casting. Um, so I've had this sitting in an isopropanol bath. Uh, part of that was to clean off the flux to see if I can get rid of this sort of situation where the, the solar panels go sort of discolored. Um, interestingly, it happened more on this one than on this one, um, which leads me to believe that it is not a chemical interaction that's going white afterwards. It's something to do with the resin wetting the surface. So uh, polyester resin is notorious for not sticking to things. And so it's not stuck to these solar panels here, but has stuck to them over here. These are all fully wetted, but except where the, the re, uh, where the uh, flux was. Um, so I'm hoping the epoxy resin will wet better, um, so I won't get this white discoloration. This, this still works, right? It it uh, it looks as though maybe three cells are dud and only two cells are good, um, but it generates enough voltage, enough energy, ten minutes in the sun to blink until late in the afternoon or like almost to the next morning. Um, so the solar panels are working, they just look a bit funky. Um, so this one has been soaking in isopropanol for like an hour or so, uh, uh, 20 minutes. Um, 
But something I noticed is that the capacitors uh, filled up with isopropanol a little bit. There is this sort of white cap you can see on the end and it looked as though there was some isopropanol trapped between that white cap and the actual capacitor inside. Um, so I'm going to let this fully dry um, before I put it in the sun. Um, but something I noticed during the, the soak in isopropanol uh, was that when I caught the light at just the right angle, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see it here. It's a very, very faint uh, tell. But there's a crack in this cell and this cell. They both join up going diagonally up that way. So that tells me that when all these cells were in one piece on the wafer, uh, there was a, a, a crack in it and I didn't notice. Which sucks butts. Um, but uh, I tested it, put, some, put it in the sun, still generates faults. So I'm going to cast this one and see where it, see how it goes. Um, part of the reason for the isopropanol bath was to clean off the flux, um, but also uh, clean off the flux on the solar panel, but also wanted to clean off the PCB a bit because it looks a bit scabby when you look at it through the resin. Um, I've just noticed the sun has come out from behind a cloud, so I'm going to go put this in the sun and uh, see how it goes. And um, hopefully these super caps don't mind a bit of isopropanol in them. They'll dry out. I'll let them fully dry out before I cast it in resin. But I think that looks pretty nice. Uh, so I've got one, two, three, four uh, boards used up. I've got another board to go. Um, I think I'll I'll make all of them because um, the solar panel the most expensive part by far are the super caps. They're like five bucks each. Um, so I'll make all of these serial number one through five, and um, yeah. Then I'll spin up Rev two with the PCB with some some improvements. Okay, bye bye.